My name's Dr Ruth Pye. I'm one of the vets at the Bunurong Wildlife Hospital. Um, we see a lot of injured wild birds here. So um, one of the most important um, diagnostics we do are radiographs. So after we've done the conscious exam and the physical exam under anaesthetic, we then tend to take the x-rays. And there are two views that are the most useful. It doesn't matter which order they're in, but uh, the first one tends to be the ventrodorsal view. And the most important thing about the position of the bird is that it's perfectly straight. So a lot of the time, you know, a bird will present and it can't fly and you can't feel or palpate any fractures, but often, you know, it's the bones of the pectoral girdle, so the coracoid, the scapula or the clavicle, which are fractured. And you'll pick those up most likely on a, you know, a really well-positioned ventrodorsal view. So it pays to take the time to position the bird appropriately and to repeat the x-rays if it's not straight. And then the second view we take, of course, is the lateral view. So the wings are pinned uh, or taped um, above the body. Um, you've just got to make sure that that right wing is usually the one that's down first and forward. Make sure the left wing isn't overlapping as you tape that back. And then the right leg is taped forward, left leg back. If it's a large bird, you can put a little wedge between the legs to keep the hip hips more parallel. Um, but these are the two uh, most useful views. And as I say, it pays to take the time to, to get them straight so that it makes interpretation much easier and more reliable.